Hey, g'day guys, it's me Imran again talking to you. One of the very basic questions get asked all the times, how to keep the energy level up and stay motivated all the times. Look, the answer is straightforward, simple, without having to go through the psychologist, psychiatrist, and a special purpose coach. Two ways to do it, psychological way or physiological way. Psychological when events happen and events are, believe me, are happening all the time, 24 seven without stop. Events are happening and you're looking at them you're hearing them you're feeling them through your five senses all the times when something happens you have choice to respond if you want to look at the negative way you will you will feel negative about it and you feel low about it the low level of energy will change your state of mind state of mind will change your physiology other way to look at it event happens you look at the positive side of thing of the of the event and that changes your psychology, psychology change your state of mind, state of mind change the physiology. You're more into open body position, your chest is all puffed out and you more prepared and talking more with the passion in your voice and all that stuff. So same event that happened to one person, he looks into it in a positive way and same event happened to another person, it looks the same event in the negative way. For instance, breakup. You have a breakup, you have every choice to make. You can put your head down and cry on it, sit on it for the rest of your life. Go be depressed about it, go into depression, um, feel the anxiety, be sad about it, bring your old memories back, good or bad memories back, and, and sit on that and get really stressed about it or you can accept the fact that it's a breakup it's move on it's time to move on the only thing certain in life is the change so the change is has been triggered in your life you're gonna move on so accept that change a most needed change that you needed for a new beginning new start so same event happened to one person he looks at it in a negative way and he buggers up his life and same event happens to another person who looks at that event as a change a positive side of the things and both show a different type of state of mind with the state of mind change their behavior and be that person is negative that he emits negative energy all the times People start avoiding you. That emits positive energy all the time. People start surrounding The question, next question is, how do we train ourselves to come across a situation which is quite negative and take it on a positive way? Look, prepare yourself. Make it a habit. Small events happen, start taking them as your training grounds. Smallest event, you have a bit of a cut on your finger. Or you have a pimple on your face. Or you got a bit of a flu. Just prepare this event to feel not too negative or posi rather positive about it. And you prepare yourself for the time when a real event happened. And on that event, you will be so mentally strong that in an event where everyone will be so negative, you will still look at the positive side of the things. Well, you don't need to look at positivity in everything but you will not be as stressed as most of the people they will be around you in the same situation in the same circumstances you hear bad news your state of mind changed to negativity the negative state of mind is going to change your psychology and everything that you say or you hear is going to be negative as well have you seen someone who is so stressed you can't even understand what they're saying? They don't even know what they're saying, what comes out of their mouth. It is definitely that state. When you're negative, your brain ceases to function properly. In that stupid state of mind, sometimes you even forget the name of your own street. Or sometimes you could not tell the difference between your middle name and your surname. There has been a situation where you've forgotten something you will never forget normally. This is what I call state change. State change is based on an event that happened to your life and how you responded to that event. And with that event, the state change has changed your behavior towards things. How do we change that? If you go into that state and you want to change that, two ways to do it, psychological way I've told you, look at the positive side of things, not too negative side of it. 
but there's another way to do it. And other way to do it, just do it physiological way. It's not easy. It's not easy to have a negative state because something has to really happen back of your mind for things to happen, things to go the way that they're going. For instance, if I'm feeling sad, I have to have a certain body language to feel sad. My shoulder down, my arms hanging loose, my face down facing the ground, my head nodding right or left, slow movement, slow voice tone, very slow. That's, it's not easy to do that uh, state of mind. Believe me or not, it's not very easy to do that physical movement. You have done something in your brain to do and learn all that. Why not train your brain to do things differently? Okay, next time event happen and you're feeling down and you know that you're going into that state of mind, your that state of mind has been triggered, then you need to have the remedy how to get out of that situation, how to get out of that negative state of mind. I do it physiological way. Physiological way it is if you're just sitting down, stand up. If you're just standing up, you know, start walking. If you're walking, start running. If you're running, start sprinting. And you know, and if you're standing and you're still happening and you're feeling low, just stand up, start moving your arms left and right fast enough. Fast body movement will change the state of mind instantly. Believe me or not, it's not easy to look up in the sky and still be sad. Try to do it at home if you're watching me and try not to do that if you're driving the car unless your hands on the wheel, but it's not easy. You won't be able to do that. You have to feel in a certain motion, in a certain body language to be sad, anxious, worried, sick, motivated, that's the body language that you're gonna have. Open body arms, shoulder puffed back, chest puffed out, shoulder pushed back, face looking straight front, that's the body position. Legs one feet apart, your feet facing out straight, that's this body language that you wanna have and that's the position that will change your psychology straight away. That will get you out of the stupid state of mind and then it all comes with the practice. Practice is something that you're going to start from the smaller things that you do with the flu next time that you have, the pimple that you have, you know, just a bit of a cut while you're shaving yourself or someone did a bad haircut on you, um, ignore it and train yourself for that big event when the big event happened, how you will respond to it positively. I have a lot to say and I have a lot to do, which I can tell you all about. But uh, if you need my assistance, please let me know. Imran Koka is my name and I hope that you get something out of this video. If you have any comment to make, please make sure that you drop a comment. Put the thumbs up or thumb down or whatever that you do. I'm more than happy to take any feedback. Cheers, guys.